Good morning, my brother. Welcome back to your daily grip on God's Word. Excited for another great um, time here to reveal the grip that God um, rose up for me. And we're going to dive right in again. Um, I'm going to go into chapter 4 of James. And my title is, Not Today, Satan. Not Today. My verse, my G for God's word is found in two verses, verses seven and eight of chapter four. Here's my G. Submit, our, submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he'll come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Whoa. All right, um, nothing like just bringing it in truth, black and white. Um, here's my R, my reveal. Have you ever been in a season whereby you, you feel the attacks of the enemy? I'll raise my hand first. I must be reminded that we are in a spiritual battle and the enemy is out to seek, to kill, and destroy. That is his sole mission here on earth. What? is a man of God to do. I love when a verse reveals the implementation. All right, so let me go ahead and review, review the verses of today. Let me review these two verses with you. Submit yourselves. This is my implementation, is this, these two verses. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he'll come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, Whew. and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Here's my implementation. Spending more time with God, diving into his word, because here's the prayer that God revealed to me. Lord, I feel at times when I'm under attack and the arrows of the enemy are firing at me from all directions. Help me, Jesus, to put on the full armor of God. And remind me, Lord, that your word is my sword to defeat the enemy. Do you guys know that? That the word of God is actually our sword to defeat the enemy. Do you remember when Jesus came out of the 40 days, met by Satan. And what did Satan try to do with Jesus? He tried to bring the word of God out of context to him. What did Jesus do? Stayed the path of, of using the sword, the word of God, back to Satan, which defeated him. So shouldn't we do the same, the example of Jesus as a Christ follower? So challenging for sure, but you know what? We win in the end and the battles are real, but stay close to Jesus. Stay close to him. Stay close to this community of men within his grip. I know I need it. I can't allow myself, guys. I can not allow myself to get on that island because the enemy is putting wedges, trying to, in between you and me to separate us. He's trying to put a wedge into you and your spouse to separate you. He is trying to put a wedge into you and your children to separate you. And once he's separated, he takes us further and further onto the island of isolation. And once he has us on the island of isolation, his main focus is to take us out, to destroy us. So guys, if you're... Can I go to just a one man right now? Off script. Didn't plan on this at all. If you have drifted onto that island, no longer are we just saying, come, come into the inner script, come. We are coming towards you. We're going to come get you. Walk over the bridge of inner grip, grab you by the hand and say, come. Come in this community of faith that God is building. It's time to come off that island. As for me and my house, for this community of men, it is so worth it to bring one of you back 
into the community. God will help you. Jesus can do all things. No, Scott, I got this addiction. I need to stay over here on the island. I haven't done good things within my marriage. I have not been a good father. Guys, that's all in the past. Come now. Come across the bridge. We'll walk with you. The community is an encouraging, uplifting, praying for you. And there is power in that. Do not. I, I, I beg you. Do not stay on that island. Come, take a step. Take another step. Take another step. And if you're in an area where there's an Innis Group life group, walk in that door. Have the courage to just show up because I promise you God will show up as you take those steps. Well, there isn't any in my area, great. We have a Wednesday night Zoom call. 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Central Time. Steve Shelton, Doc Nagel will be there with open arms as well as all the other guys on Wednesday night. It's a community of encouragement. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm just praying over you right now that you do not stay on that island. Just say, Lord, I'm yours. I'm going to take a walk of faith, not by sight. Please, Lord, help me. Restore the relationships I've broken Break the addictions, the chains that have bound me over years of alcohol, of sex addiction, of whatever fill-in-the-blank addiction you've been experiencing no more. There's power in the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, those chains can be broken. And let me just pray us out. Lord, right now I just feel like there's one man, God, that's actually contemplating suicide, that he wants to just... Um, surrender that the enemy has him so bound but lord i know that your word can travel through the way airwaves and land on that man's heart and mind in jesus name by the blood that was shed at calvary lord i ask you to break those chains the bondage jesus break it and let him see the light that's found in you lord let those tears flow let him release everything over the years that's bound him Jesus, we call upon you right now, Lord. If it's all for this one man, Lord, it's so worth it, Lord. You left, Jesus, you left the 99 to go get the one. Today, we leave the 99 to go get the one. Help us, Lord, to walk with him in the community of faith. Jesus, do a mighty work. May your name be known. Lord, do what you're famous for. Do the miraculous in this one man. We promise to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. And um, my brother, if that was you that was prayed over and prayed for, please reach out to me. Uh, area code 615-428-4496. If you'd rather just pen it out in an email, scott.layman at inhisgripgolf.com. Don't forget the golf. scott.layman at inhisgripgolf.com. Um, We're here for you, brother. Um, life is very, very short. We, we want you here in the community with us. God's got great work for you. He's got great plans for you. And we love you. You know that. Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I'll see you in the morning.